Welcome to the first annual progress update of Scotland's digital future. I'm very pleased to say that a great deal of progress has been made over the last year towards delivering a digital Scotland. As well as looking back at what has already been accomplished, this update looks ahead to the action that is required over the next 12 to 18 months to ensure that Scotland is well positioned to take full advantage of the opportunities of the digital age. This update is also about getting Scotland talking about what it means to be a digital nation and how everybody can play their part in this transformation. That's why I've invited people outside of government to contribute to this update, sharing their own views on the kind of digital Scotland we might become and the role that they will play in making it happen. My own aim is that by 2020, Scotland will be regarded as a leading digital nation around the world. I want other countries to look at us as a nation who has embraced the opportunities of the digital age to transform our public services, to drive efficiency and to deliver easier and better services for customers. From knowing when your next bill is due and being able to find and pay for a parking space to genuinely helping people to care for themselves and manage chronic conditions. I want our cities to be defined by connectivity, by the ability to move from the airport to the bus to the hotel, to the office, and to carry out your business without interruption, to access your money, your utilities, without worrying about opening times or the capacity of a call centre. I also want world-class connectivity to help genuinely redistribute economic power across our land, to close the gaps in earning potential by closing the digital divide and regenerating our remote and rural communities. Now, none of this will be easy and it will require everyone in Scotland to play their part. But not to do it, not to invest, not to expand is simply not an option.